Now I am going to show you an animated video of recombinant DNA technology. That means what are the techniques and technology we have learned in this chapter. Now you are going to visualize it. I think it will be a great experience to all of you. Shall we move into the video? Yes. See? In this test tube, we can clearly visible DNA as threads. Why threads you can visible here? Actually, isolated things, we have taken it in a test tube and kept it over here. So once again, see this, our test tube with DNA. In that test tube, DNA will be like this. You know that, what is the structure of DNA? Now, yes, the process I'm going to start restriction digestion for showing you restriction digestion here i'm applying eco r1 you know the cutting pattern and the process how it is cutting see how it will cut here you can see the band of dna the recognition site what is that g a a t t c see how eco r1 cuts it eco r1 recognize the basis guanine and adenine and here you can see now as a result of restriction digestion overhanging structures are created you can see here no so how restriction digestion works out that we are showing now see here Another cut. As a result of restriction digestion, what we have learnt? Yes, we will get different sized fragments. See here? Different sized fragments are created. Now, Yes, what we are going to do? We are going to separate them by electrophoresis. Look how electrophoresis works. See, this is electrophoretic apparatus and we are loading DNA in the wells. Here you can see the wells. See how we are loading it. We are going to switch on the electric current. When we are switching on, yes. What happened? DNA started to migrate from negative electrode to positive electrode. And clearly you can visible the curl pattern of DNA. Smaller fragments occupied where near to the positive electrode, where larger fragments occupy near to the well or near to the negative electrode. Here you have seen the binding of probe. Radio labeled prop came and bind with the complementary base and among the number of different fragments I identified which one is mine and now I'm going to do what yes I'm going to amplify this particular desired DNA fragment for that I'm going to apply what PCR see this This I'm going to take and going to amplify this. When I was telling you about PCR, I told you that it is having three major steps. What are they? Denaturation, annealing and extension. Let us see one by one how denaturation takes place. Yes, see two strand separated. These are the primers. After denaturation, what will happen? This primers will come and bind to the complementary base pairs and initiate replication. See this? After the binding of primers, once replication initiate, what will happen? 
Yes, chain has to elongate, right? So for the elongation of chain, what we have added? We have used DATP, DTTP, DCTP and DGTP as raw materials or bases. So with the help of this deoxynucleotides, how DNA strand is getting elongated. That's what I'm going to show you. See here, extension, how bases are coming and binding. See here, once again denaturation, yes, annealing and yes, complementary bases are coming and binding and number is increasing. So, here you could see from a single DNA, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 DNAs. How we got? You understood, no? When you are seeing this video? Yes. Now, we have made enough amount of DNA and now what I am going to do? Two process I can do. Either I can directly transfer it into the host or I can give it into a vector. In this video, I am going to show you how we are transferring a gene with the help of a vector. See here? This is our bacterial cell. This is the plasmid. I'm going to take out this plasmid from the cell. Yes, this is the plasmid. See this? You can see this, no? This is the plasmid. Extra chromosomal circular DNA, what it is found inside the bacterial cell. Now, we are going to cut it with restriction endonuclease. Yes, restriction endonuclease cuts. See, when we have used restriction endonuclease, we got a cut for introducing the foreign DNA. For introducing the foreign DNA only, we have applied restriction endonuclease. So once we are applying restriction endonuclease, what will happen? A cuts create and into that cuts, now our foreign DNA will come and bind. See this? Yes, it is coming and binding. See this? Now, our plasmid DNA is combined with the foreign DNA. That means it became recombinant DNA. And now this recombinant DNA is again moving into the cell, bacterial cell. Let us see. See it is entering. Already entered. After entering, the bacteria started to multiply. Whenever the bacteria is multiplying, our desired gene is also getting multiplied. That means transgenic organisms are produced. You know how easy it is? So whenever you are seeing this session, try to see the video and remember the things what it has happened in this video. Then it will be very easy for you to understand biotechnology principle and process. So for your clarification, I will show this video again without voice. So once you are seeing all these process together, it will be easy for you to understand. Okay.